Hey, Bold Thinkers. It's Kanisha Baynard from BoldLivingToday.com. It is May. Happy May, everybody. I honestly cannot believe it's May already, but it's my favorite month of the year, and I'm feeling very happy and hopeful, even in the middle of all the things that are going on. Um, the reason May is my favorite month is because both of my children were born in May, so it's a really celebratory month for us. And May is always the start of graduation season, which I also love so much. I love seeing people accomplish their goals and, you know, actualize their dreams and really celebrate some hard work, some challenges through commencement exercises. So, you know, a lot of people, as we know, have had their lives disrupted and some milestones snatched from them. And this is such an understatement. And it's just been so much. It's truly been a lot. But when I'm working with families, especially with teens, you know, this has been so comforting to me and helped my boost my energy because we've been really creative and figuring out some ways to do things differently temporarily. And a lot of my coaching sessions, um, I've been busier than I had anticipated with the whole shutdown, but a lot of the coaching sessions and questions that I've received from the Bow Living Today community have centered around communication, specifically in relationships and um, people with their teenagers, really how to have good communication in a time that a lot of us were not prepared to navigate. Communication, how to nurture a positive outlook for the future, and then how to really nurture and um, facilitate all that creatively because we've all had to get creative during the shutdown. So I just want to let people know what some of the plans are coming up for the month of May in the Bow Living Today community. Um, May is National Teen Self-Esteem Month. So if you didn't already know that, that is this month. And um, I've been partnering with some nonprofit organizations and with some other experts in talking about failure and how to communicate that with yourselves, the lessons you can learn from that, how to fail forward. So that's going to be coming up in May. And then also um, throughout the whole month of May on my Instagram stories and my Facebook stories for uh, Kanisha Baynard, for Instagram Kanisha Baynard and for Kanisha Baynard Coaching on Facebook, I'm going to have a tip every day. Um, for different ways you can support teens and really help them thrive during this challenging time. And thank you, thank you to everybody who um, just provided some feedback in March and April on the Instagram um, and Facebook stories, uh, the campaigns we're running on there. It's just really been fun to put that together. So I'm glad you've enjoyed them. So the May series on the stories will focus on teens. And then I am going to have another video series about individual connectedness. Some of you have participated in my individual connectedness program if you've attended a workshop with it, or you have um, signed up for some of the activities and worksheets for that. And so I'm just going to expand that. And then in late May, you can find out more about that um, on my YouTube channel. And I'll be sending it out to my newsletter and announcing it on Instagram so you won't miss it. But that'll start on May 25th. Um, my whole program on in individual connectedness. And I'm super excited about it because it hits the topics of communication, nurturing a positive outlook for the future, and then also creativity. And then um, May 10th through 16th, that is National Women's Health Week. And I'm super excited about that. I have an interview series lined up. Some of the videos, um, the interviews will be pre recorded, and some of them will be on Instagram Live or Facebook Live, but we'll have a whole schedule put together for that. I'm working with my great assistant to get that all organized right now, but it'll be a wide variety of people I'm discussing um, health and wellness tips and tools with. So you might have someone who's um, a fitness instructor or someone who owns a food company or a food business or someone who is an artist or someone who is a new entrepreneur in the health field. Like I have a nice um, diverse group of people I'm interviewing, so I'm super excited about that. I'll be sharing about that in the next few days. We are almost ready to um, let you know the schedule for that. So just working on things boldly, but at a good pace and not overwhelming myself. So stay tuned for all of that. And then I am kicking off my third annual Beyond Bur Burnout for High Achieving Win Women series. Before it was Beyond Burnout for Motherhood, but I had a lot of women join it who were not mothers. And the common thread for all of it is that people who are in the bold living community are often overachievers. So, you know, I just have made 
the program expansive. So that'll kick off. Um, we will start that the week after National Women's Health Week. So that will start on March, or not March, oh my gosh, y'all. That'll start on May 18th. So I'll have information about that. And if you're a subscriber to my newsletter, you'll be able to get all this information right to your inbox. And if you haven't joined the list, just join it. Um, super easy. I send out a newsletter about every week or every other week, but always announcing um, upcoming events. And then we'll also um, update the events section on my website, bowlivingtoday.com. And then I'm also posting reminders and just updates on Instagram and Facebook. So make sure you're following. You can follow the hashtag bold thinker. That's the one we use on most everything, just so you can see what's going on in the Bold Living Today community. So happy May Day, everybody. Happy May. Take good care of yourselves and just go easy and do the best you can one day at a time. So stay tuned for a lot of fun stuff this May.